In this tutorial, we will be looking at variables attached to exponents. How do you proceed if you see x squared? Or x to the power of 2 multiplying x to the power of 3. We will not be learning any new rules, but instead going over how to apply what we already know to variables. First, let's do a quick review of variables. A variable is often represented by x or y in math though it could be any letter of the alphabet. A variable is used to represent a number that you do not know yet. When working with variables, we treat it just like we would a number. All the same rules apply. You may have seen the following type of question before. x plus 2 equals 3. Here, you will solve for x. You will get x equals 1, because 1 plus 2 equals 3. Another type of problem is when you have an expression and you simplify, but don't actually solve for the variable. Simplify the following. 3 multiplied by x plus 4 minus 2. We can multiply the 3 and the x and subtract the 2 from the 4 to get our simplified expression. 3x plus 2. For the moment, we will just be simplifying expressions with exponents. Exponents on single variables. Just like you might see 5 squared, you could see x or y squared. The difference is you can evaluate 5 squared. 5 squared equals 25. y squared, though, equals y squared. Because you don't know what number y represents, you cannot evaluate it. So y squared is as far as it can go. It cannot be simplified any further or evaluated as long as we don't know what the y represents. An exponent still represents the same idea on a variable. 3 to the power of 5 equals 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3. y to the power of 5 equals y multiplied by y multiplied by y multiplied by y multiplied by y. Let's take a quick look at something you might see. 3 multiplied by y. Because the 3 and the y are being multiplied, we can drop the multiplication sign and we get 3y. This still represents 3 multiplying y. Let's take this a step further with the following expression. 3 multiplied by y multiplied by y multiplied by y multiplied by y. Now if we drop all the multiplication signs, we get 3y, y, y, y. This does not look right, so let's apply what we know. There are four y's being multiplied together. Using an exponent, we can write this as y to the power of 4. So now we have 3 multiplying y to the power of 4. This looks better and is the simplified version of the original expression. Here we will briefly look at some more examples of rules we have already learned. As we have already covered them, we won't go into great detail. Multiplying powers with the same base. Dividing powers with the same base. In this lesson, you learned that a variable can be used when working with exponents. That when a variable replaces the base, all of the same rules of exponents apply. This will be very useful going forwards as variables will often be used to learn new rules and concepts.